Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Arhas Encyclopedia YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn a uh, word grammar. So, so in this word grammar, we are going to learn that uh, spellings. So, most of the people habituated or makes mistakes generally. So why these mistakes will happen? Because of uh, English is an international language, and uh, in our India the pronunciation will be different, the spelling will be the different. So most of the people will be makes mistakes. So oh, spelling mistakes. It is uh, if you are making the spelling mistakes means uh, there is no discipline in the way of learning. So if you are not doing spelling mistakes means you are learning in a disciplined way. So that's why the mistakes will not happening. So this video will definitely help you to overcome some kind of uh, spelling mistakes if you learn this properly. So spelling mistakes. The topic is spellings. So spellings. For example, why people make mistakes means uh, the pronunciation based on pronunciation. For example, I am saying that uh, put put p u t put and here b u s bus why we are calling the word p u t put and the word b u s bus here same u is there and here same u is there but here we are calling it as put but we are it is calling as that bus and also same uh, cut c u t cut here also same here put but here cut here bus so in english uh, most of the words are uh, spellings and the pronunciation will be mostly different that's why most of the people makes a spelling mistake so here in this video we are going to learn syllables syllables based on the syllables only we can learn so what is mean by syllable syllables are nothing but Syllables. Syllables are nothing but the word which is divided as parts are called as that syllable. For example, I am writing the word grammar. Here, here the word is divided as uh, two parts. Grammar. So one syllable, two syllable. And we have uh, monosyllable, disyllable, trisyllable and also multi-syllable we have different kinds of syllables are there so based on that we have to make the uh, spellings correctly for example monosyllable words will begins with the uh, sorry monosyllabic words uh, that uh, short vowel sound that short vowel sound generally don't have e at the end for example uh, Sip, sip, hit, put, kit. These are all called as that uh, monosyllable word with uh, short vowels. So here, what is short vowels? What is long vowels? We have to understand. So short vowels is nothing but in Telugu we can say that uh, short vowel. Ante idete ottu untundo. Dani long vowels and them. Idan kete ottu unda do short vowels and For example, a a e e. Short vowels means little a, small a. And long vowel means big a. A a. So here we are talking about uh, small a means short vowel. Here we are not putting any kind of e at the end. So monosyllables which is not having e at the end is called as monosyllable and also short vowel sound that will not followed e at the end first point and next one here uh, monosyllable with the long vowels monosyllable along with long vowel sound which follows e at the end for example for example right right we are saying right 
so here came here we are saying came came here it is a long sound and it is followed by e and also hate we are saying hate means long vowel so we have to put e at the end and also gate e at the end we are pronouncing as gate e long vowel sound so we have to put e at the end and also uh, hate gate rate so here you can see the words we are pronouncing as pronouncing that long vowels long vowels so that's why this word are called as that long vowel sound so we must use e at the end and now you can see most of the adverbs are formed by using ly at the end so here you can see here now we have to describe describe about uh, adjectives become adverbs so how the adjectives become going to transform into s as adverbs we'll discuss so first one so what is mean by adjectives adjectives are nothing but that describes about a noun or a pronoun or a particular thing so here adjectives become adverbs how it is happen so for example i am writing calm it is a word it is a calm this is an adjective how it become adverb means uh, we just add ly just add the ly into the word adjective it become adverb adverb and also slow slow is a adjective and it be become adverb for example slow leave and strange strange leave complete complete here the word ending with the ly it is called as that adverbs and also really real and really so these are the adverbs and sorry these are the adjectives and these are the adverbs formed by using adjectives so this is the way of learning and now easy easy easily easy easily and happy happily happily so angry so if the word is ending with the consonant y y we have to make it as i l y here we have to use i l y so easy easily happy happily angry angrily this, so these are the words uh, this side easily happy angry these words are called as that adjectives if you add the l y at the end uh, these words become adverbs so thanks for watching my videos please do subscribe my channel arhas encyclopedia